Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today on GTA 5 with another Survive the Hunt. Yes, today or this month's Survive the Hunt is going to be working a little bit differently. You see, there's going to be kind of two people. I'm going to have, I'm going to pick one of the hunters over here and they're going to be kidnapped. Essentially, they have to stay in my car, they have to stay with me the entire time. And I'm going to try and survive for the full 24 hours while we're getting chased. This adds a whole load of new different challenges for me. Uh, we are going to, you know, we're going to get started. Uh, now, of course, I have to pick my kidnapped victim carefully here because, well, they're going to be in my car. I need them to not stand out. So a bright purple shirt? Unlikely. I feel like perhaps the darker colours are going to be a better choice for me in this one. Uh, who do we want to go for? Uh, I reckon, you know what, you, over there, get in the car, get in the car, come on. <laughs> Alright, they're going to get in the vehicle, so that is going to be my kidnap victim. It is 16.32, it is up past four in the afternoon, and we are going to set off. Now, as I said, there are no pink prees in this one. Don't have to worry about them because having another person in my car is a big enough hindrance as it is. Because, of course, the AIs in, in online, it is incredibly rare. Not completely impossible, but incredibly rare to find two AIs in the same vehicle. If there is an instance where they spot a vehicle with two AIs in it, it's going to get searched. So, we are going to have to go for something a little bit sneaky. Well, I say a little bit sneaky. I actually have a cunning idea here. I don't know if it's going to work. You see, well, what I've just noticed... Oh, that's not a gap that I can fit through. Uh, poor driving by me as a start. So what I've just noticed is the Mopover has very, very high sides. Very high sides, in fact. Which I reckon might be difficult to see in. I'm going to go for a bit of a cheeky strategy on this one. You see, the Mopover is not actually as slow as people might think. And I might just possibly be able to go for a little bit of a cunning plan here. Uh, now, there is a danger of swapping cars over, uh, I say, too quickly. So I want to kind of get to the city. I want to grab a Mopover, and then I'm going to try and take it to Los Santos Customs. Now, I've got to do this quickly. I have a two-minute head start. Yes, we have a two-minute head start uh, to get away from them. But that's cutting it quite fine, and they do have a tendency to visit Los Santos Customs and all of that sort of thing. The aircraft will take a little while to get up into the sky. I should be able to do all of this. It's just, you know, we're starting to cut it a little bit fine in terms of the time. And I have I say I'm having to, I'm wanting to go for this car customization uh, by virtue of I want the power. So we're going to grab this. Uh, we're going to get the person into the back of the vehicle. Fantastic stuff. And then we are going to head to Los Santos Customs. Now I'm going to, hmm, do I go for like a light window tint on this? It would have to be very light um, to try and get away with it. Too dark and they might not be able to see in the vehicle, but they'll also know something's up. We don't want that. Uh, we don't want them knowing something's up in, in that manner. So, let's go and give it a try, basically. Oh, that's a big jump for this. Um, yeah, I've got to do this bit quick. You know, this, this bit has to be done swiftly. Uh, it out of the way. Um, now, if there is uh, another addition, if there is a firefight, if the kidnap victim is killed, then I automatically win. So the hunters have got to be super, super careful on this one. If they open fire on the vehicle, if they manage to... Okay, so we're going to go... We're going to go... I say I can't be in here too long. I don't want to be in here too long. Uh, because, well... Oh, I'm going to spend all my money on this bloody... Mubbavurs are always good. Uh, no, keep it on normal suspension. Uh, I was going to just stick it on some bulletproof tyres. Um, it's bloody expensive on this. Uh, and again, this is for a vehicle that's going to get used once. You know what, maybe we'll keep it. Sure. It's my Mopover now. Uh, <laughs> are you sure you want to exit Santos Customs? Yes. Heavily modified Mopover. We are out, we are underway. We have bulletproof tyres. I'm going to go sort my clothes out quickly. Uh, right, style. We do not want to be in any of these. What do we want to wear? Uh, something... Uh, probably not that. You know what, I'm just going to go with just generic oh, jacket and so on. Right, get back in the car. Oh, is the person there obvious? I maybe should have gone with a very light window tint, actually. It's, it's to make... It's more of a vehicle pulls up behind me. If people are just driving around, you're not going to notice very much. At the speed that a lot of the hunters, you know, are going to cover ground around here, most of the time you probably won't see anything. You have to actually be looking at a car. Now... 
why you would look at a Mapavur is because something like that has happened, for example. Um, that would be a reason why you would look in this direction, let's say. And then it's going to be a big giveaway. So as long as they don't look at me for any good, any good reason. Actually, the pillar... Yeah, okay. I think the choice of the, the Mapavur is actually quite good. Um, I think the, the high sides of the car, the quite large pillars, are going to work in my favour here. At least that is the hope. Also, as it is inevitably going to be the case, uh, <laughs> there is a reason why I, why we call this the the, the Mupaver. For more recent kind of viewers, etc., I think I can turn this way on the red light. Uh, might not know the I think the origin story. It's actually, a very very old very old reference. I think to the very first time we did our own sort of custom heist in GTA Five. Uh, I think it was Husky actually that ended up calling this, nicknaming this the Mopavur, and it's just kind of stuck now. Um, that's why it's called what it is. I will continue to call it that. It is just how it is going to be. Uh, there goes the first of the hunters that we have seen. So, you know, we've made it a decent... I say we've made it decent. We're in the city. They're underway. We've got... We've done the customization. We've got out of here all in time. Which is the important part. Now, not having to blow up the prees takes an element... Uh, of danger out of it. We basically replaced one difficulty with a different difficulty in this. Oh, I'll tell you what, we could grab a bus. If it wasn't the fact that a bus would be so slow. Uh, oh, for Christ's sake, just go in front. That's really bad news for me. That's horrific bad news for me. I don't really need an AI car prattling around. Again, it's not... <sighs> Come on now. You know what? Screw the lot of you. I'm going to try and just get myself... The AI are being extra derpy. I mean, this it's not even like they're at the turn light there and they were already being super keen to overtake us. I don't know what might happen because there are two people in the... I shouldn't think two people in the vehicle is going to make any bit of difference. Uh, however, this is GTA 5. We don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, it looks like we're clear to go. So we're just going to head in this direction. Uh, I want to be in the... What the... Oh, wait, hold on. I was looking at the wrong set of lights. Whoops, may have ran a red light. Don't really care all too much. Oh, no. Should have stayed where I was. They're checking a bus. You see, I feel like a bus could be a really, really fun little idea in this one. A bus could be amazing fun if you got it just right. Uh, that's bad news for me. Uh, please don't check my car. Please don't check my car. Um, that is a lot of vehicles that are suddenly starting to swarm around us. Uh which is not what we want. I have a feeling, yeah, this is probably not going to go all so well. There's a little gap that we... <sighs> they were just looking at vehicles. See, this is the difficult thing. As soon as you get spotted, you are in so much trouble. Now, people carrier, let's see what you've got in terms of pace. Uh, we've got bulletproof tyres if it does happen to uh, get shot at, if they happen to be on foot somewhere. Uh, oh take out the post. We, I knew this was going to be difficult. I knew there were likely to be more chases with this. Uh, it was an unfortunate location we ended up being in there. That's some horrific traffic they've got going on right there. Plus point for me here, uh, they haven't really got time, haven't had a chance to get aircraft in. Uh, so yeah, we can kind of hopefully steal a little bit of a march uh, on this one. Bolt away. I know I'm going to have good straight line speed here. Uh, by virtue of, but we're modified and their vehicles are not. So we have got a little a little bit of an advantage on this one. Uh, now, oh, let's get rid of those lights. I don't want somebody trying to follow the lights in the distance. Uh, do we reckon... I don't reckon they've seen where we've gone down here. Uh, they have got a car behind. Right, so I was planning on diving down one of the alleyways, but there's a car close enough behind that it would see, and that's not what I need. Pretty much. Uh, if it spots me go down an alleyway, it's very easy to get stuck in that sort of area because it's narrow. You know, these are very, very tight confines. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Dive this way, I should think. Uh, right. Where can we go? We need some form of better cover than we've got going on at the moment. Oop, i try something sneaky. And jump through here. If they're not directly behind me, they might not see me take this route. Not that it's the biggest change of direction. Uh, you know, for example, there may only be a car somewhere else around here. See, I don't really... I almost don't want to leave the, the Mupava. I kind of don't want to leave this vehicle because it is a good... I mean, it's a good car because it has all the speed in it. I was hoping it's going to last a little bit longer before we had to panic and bail on this one. Uh, it has done very, very well. Okay. I thought for a second I saw one of them. 
<laughs> I thought for a second I saw one of them, but I could suddenly go back into blending into traffic. Are they going to expect me to have gone back into blending into traffic? Probably not. Do they know where I am? Probably not. Uh, do I want to keep making a little bit of distance? Quite possibly. All right, I need a new car, and I really need a four-seat vehicle. I don't want to go for a two-seat car. Oh, we've got a spawn set full of not very quick four-door vehicles, or four-seat vehicles, because I don't think there are any GTA cars that let you sit in the back of a two-door. As far as I'm aware, there isn't, anyway. Great, the choices are Stanier. I mean, a car didn't take much damage. It only took a little scrape on the bonnet. It might not show up on their end, on their screens. That's what I'd be hoping for here. There are definitely vehicles flying around. Do they think... Would they expect me to go to mere blending in? Will they search every single grey people carrier they see? It's difficult to know. I mean, are you going to search? Possibly not. Poss My plan here was to go to the casino car park, but I now have got to be very, very careful um, about what's going on. I don't really like this particularly. I have got a secondary sort of plan here, if I can get out of this area. I'm liking this road because there's not many traffic lights. I'm liking this road because I haven't got to stop for very much. We're not going to be stationary. We're not going to have AI cars alongside us all too often. So we can probably do okay here. And if I follow this road along far enough, we can loop our way back down towards the docks. I can go to Los Santos Customs down that way. It's quite well hidden. It's quite well undercover, and then we can modify our car. I say modify it, we can fix it, and more importantly, I can change the colour of it. That's the hope. Some big fingers crossed moments here. This is as long as they don't spot me before we get there. Uh, oh, there it is. The vehicles have come whizzing past. I think they might have just seen that there is a second person in this car. Um, Oh crap, gang member annoyed. Gang member is going to annoy and is going to carjack us. Uh, <laughs> I would have tried to ride that one out, but that pissing gang member was there. That's really annoying. God damn it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know whether the G, whether the G Wagon had actually clocked us before the crash or it was after that or something. I don't know. I don't know why the gang member was annoyed, or at least it looked like they were going for my car. And let's face it, that's the last thing I need in this is the whole, I know what, let's go and pass around with the gangs getting angry and trying to carjack me. Why they'd be annoyed at me, I don't know. But, apparently, that was... Oh! Stanley Air, why? <laughs> I say that as I'm doing the very illegal high-speed driving and all that. That really fault the AI, you know, the, 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 the trying to make a normal turn there. Not really their fault. Ew, this thing can shift. This thing really can shift when it needs to. Uh, when it's modified with a big old turbo. Oh! Right. Okay. Oh, hello, Emperor. That's not really what I wanted to be doing, but never mind. Come on, get around some corners here. There's another vehicle behind us. Jesus, that thing has got some speed. It's got some momentum coming towards us from having gone down the hill. Oh, we're going to have to start taking... Whoa! Got this in the way. Now, the most important thing with these chases is we've got to make sure that uh, we don't make silly mistakes ourselves. Uh, oh, well, that was not a silly mistake ourselves. That pretty much got some... Again, that, that's got some go about it. I really didn't think it was going to be able to keep up uh, going around those uh, corners, but apparently it could. It's probably not a place I wanted to go particularly. Oh, can I take some uh, sneaky corners? Maybe. There is the uh, Sand King. Oh, with the red lights, there's another one heading towards me. Now, that's fine. If they're heading towards me, it's actually going to take them a while to get turned around and give chase. So... That is good news for me here. But shaking them is, is tough in this. Oh, with this set, or staying, staying lost is tough in this sort of setup. Not impossible, but it is tough. The spawn set of cars is really not helping. It's like supercars or something really slow. Uh, come on, barrel around these corners. But yeah, okay. So they've got a normal. So they've got a. They've got a map of a giving chase. Oh, this was a poor idea. Now they might not know that this is a dead end. I might not realise when I drove down here. No, that's not the bit I thought it was. There's another way out of here I had a feeling about. No making. one's... Oh, maybe it was up that bit. I know there was a sneaky way to jump out of here. What the hell was that effect going on? Not quite sure. Oh! Alright, we're across the motorway. <laughs> <We're>, oh! <laughs> G-Wagon crashed. An intruder jumped onto the motorway, but... Uh, no, no luck for that. Uh, I'm going to just spin it around. The lurcher's got some speed. 
again. Oh! I was looking slightly to the side of me. Well, you pushed me down somewhere that I was kind of planning on going anyway. Well, I'd thought about, just you made my mind up for me. Uh, here we go. We're back into... Back onto twisty, twisty bits of road. That is good. I like the twisty bits of road. Twisty bits of road are good. Okay, so it's Lurcher, something with yellow headlights. Don't know what it is. They're the main concerns for us at the moment. What am I going to do to get rid of the bloody things? Hmm. We're going to have to... Well, and this, this is actually giving me some concerns in terms of swapping a vehicle over. If this thing modified is struggling, you know, if this thing modified isn't able to just bolt away from stuff, do I really want one of the other four-door vehicles? I mean, the answer to that is probably not really. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to be really careful with whatever I end up driving, simply because it's not going to be able to get away. It's not going to have any speed. We can get away a little bit in terms of some cornering. Yes, that is true. I'm not far enough away to do any sneaky tricks, really. Uh, again, it's mostly the case of don't oh, don't make any mistakes. I saw headlights that I thought was a hunter in the distance. That's why I bailed down here, but I think it was just an AI car changing lanes. We've now managed to steal a little bit of a gap. I can still see them back there. Um, I mean, we can like get around a corner and break the line of sight for a second, but it's only ever really for a second. There's never really any more than that, which makes it tough to do anything clever. And there's not enough corners here to manage to like, sequence it together, uh, really. Uh, now, the other thing to bear in mind is I can try and go to places that is difficult for them to describe to each other. So, golf course for example, that's easy to describe where it is or Michael's house, which is currently where we are. Not ideal for me, it's where I am at the moment. I can't really change all of that too much. The blimp is about. Whoa! That's a great takedown. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Just whichever direction is the easiest to get going. Whichever direction I can have the most momentum is where I'm going at the moment. Uh, whoa! We can bounce off of that. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Good, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> we're just pinging off of cars at the moment. The Mupavur is strong. It is doing good work here. It's, it's just sort of weathering the hits for now. For, for now. Uh, I could do actually. You know, if someone wants to break my other tail light, go for it. If that wants to get if that wants to get destroyed. I'd be cool with that. Uh, <laughs> just lose the light. What the hell is that thing that's giving chase? It's quick. Whatever it is. I need it to make a mistake somewhere. Might be the Schwarzer. That was a concern for me. The Schwarzers, uh, they are... F I think it was a Schwarzer someone might have been in at some point. I don't know. It might have made a mistake, though. Do you have now suddenly just pulled a big old gap on it? Uh, just about to see it in the background. The blimp is way, way far back in the distance. Uh, now, can I do anything clever? Can I do anything sneaky under here? I just don't have enough options at the moment uh, to do a clever, like, dive into an alleyway or something. And if I do have enough options... God, there's always that risk of uh, getting caught in the dead end or something, so I don't know the alleyways around this area. All of that great. Uh, is that car still on our tail? Yeah, it's still on our tail. It's still close enough. Uh, oh, okay, here's a plan. And a half. This is either genius or stupidity. It's amazing how often those two coincide. Uh, <laughs> don't know whether this plan's going to bloody work or not. Um, okay, don't put any lights on. Definitely don't do that. Are they going to have thought... I mean, where are they going to think I've gone? Are they going to think I've jumped in the storm drain? Are they going to think we've gone on the motorway? Will they think I've done the sneaky, like, jump down the gap? I mean, I, I wasn't even intending on when I made that turn. I realised once I'd made that turn. I, I would love... No, 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 take that back. I take that back entirely. This was absolutely planned. I was heading here. This was the goal. This was the end goal all the time, all the way, uh, was to do this. I, I, when I saw there was the gap there, I took it. I can see the blimp now. That's hovering over this direction. Will the blimp see the holes and think, hmm... Could they have gone for that option? The only difficulty I do have is I'm very, very much stuck here. And if I poke my nose out, we have got to go eventually. They will come searching. If I poke my nose out and get spotted, you know, the chase is back on immediately. Um, now, my cunning plan here is going to be not crash into that post. My real cunning plan was to go over this way. Now. Oh, for God's sake. Why was there a car there? I had a great idea. My idea was to jump into the Los Santos Customs, go across the riverbed and jump into Los Santos Customs. I guess I had a vehicle around there 
sat ready, waiting, watching, etc. I know this bit's here narrow. I'm hoping the car behind is going to throw it out there with a lot of speed and crash, which it has kind of semi-done in all of that. Um, it's still closer. So I thought about dunk ducking back to the left, but there might already be vehicles heading this way. So I've also got to be careful. Like, doubling back on yourself can be great for losing somebody if you can break that line of sight very quickly. But it can also get you back into a lot of trouble. Oh! Okay, well, there's the Sand King. It was around this area. Oh, that's a lot of speed. <laughs> it's the limit of the grip in the Mabuffa. Very much the limit of the grip in this car. <laughs> I do like it. I mean, it's, for what it is, it's doing remarkably, wonderfully well. Although the Sand King is quicker than me in a straight line. That's a little bit alarming. Oh. Okay, make the corner. I'm hoping the Sand King will struggle. It didn't. Uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Intruder had some momentum coming up this hill. Didn't really get to use it, though. That's all fine by me. Oh, we need to get... Fo this is just becoming one massive car chase now. Maybe if I'd gone out on foot... Maybe going on foot would have been the better way to go there. Oh! Well, not intentional, the U-turn uh, here. Oh, get out of the way, everybody! Things have got a little bit of right for me. Oh, mostly because I hit an AI car. Uh, oh, okay, that vehicle didn't get across in time to hit me. I mean, the U-turn will cause a little bit of chaos for them. Completely unintentional. I just bounced off the door of something. Oh, lamp posts. Well, I wanted to go this way anyway, so that's fine. Oh, the Lurcher is heading this way. Oh, I shouldn't worry about that car. That's got loads more speed than I... I think it's the Lurcher. Rather than the... Whatever the other one. Romero, I think. Um, oh! Tapped on the brakes there to try and get it under control. Friend, again, this is... Oh! This is not a sports car! There's a gap there that I can't quite get through. That's annoying. Oh! Sanking's coming that way. Oh, please tell me the Sand King. I couldn't even look behind to film to see if the Sand King wiped out its friend. I really hope it did. Uh, sadly, I don't think it did. Oh, I need more tricks. We need more clever tricks in this one. I need more space to be able to pull off clever tricks as well. Unless they make mistakes. A lot of the clever tricks can't be done with cars directly behind me. Uh, one of them has made a bit of an error through all of that. Do I try and duck down? I've died so many times ducking into one of like, the small car parks trying to go for an alleyway. The one to the right there uh, is always such a huge risk to try and take. Where is the blimp? I can't even see the blimp. I don't know if it's even vaguely close at the moment. Okay. Mabuva. Speed time. Much glorious speed, if you will. Oh, that's not going to make the turn very easily there, is it? Nope. <laughs> it has made it. But, I mean... the. I think it's the G-Wagon look-alike that's following us. I can't remember the name of it at this current moment in time. Uh, whatever it is, that's not exactly got crazy mountains of grip either. Uh, oh, well, I didn't intend on going this way, but we are going this way now. Uh, not that way, though. Oh, this is a bad place to be in. People carry it. You are all-wheel drive. So, apparently that fence is indestructible. Well, that's glorious, isn't it? Um, now, they've got to be very careful with their shooting, because if they hit the wrong person then it will be game over for them as well. Uh, so this does actually give me... It gives you a small advantage in this kind of a scenario. Because uh, they can't just open fire. The... Oh! And they've killed each other! <laughs> Friendly fire has occurred! Uh, yeah, they can't just completely go mad in terms of the shooting. Because if they do, well, they'll kill the person they're trying to rescue, essentially. And I don't think they know where I've gone. I think that little foray through that dangerous area has worked wonders. I can see the blimp in the distance, but it doesn't know where it's going. It's way, way too far back to know what's happening here. Uh, right. Have I got any cars following me? No, it doesn't look like it. We're going to need a new car. We desperately, desperately, desperately need a new car. Uh, I don't think I can keep going with the people carrier. I think we're going to have to bail out of this for something different. What do I go for, though? Oh! I mean, we've just seen the difficulty we've had in this chase. It's going to have to be a gauntlet. There's really so few options in this. Um, I'm having a gun out just in case somebody has followed me and they are closer behind. Right, where is... Oh, where is... Where did the person go? Wait a second, did they kill them without me realising? We have currently lost our uh, kidnap victim. I think... <laughs> I think in all that mess, I just wasn't even looking. I just wasn't even looking at what was going on behind me. Um, to see what happened. Surely they can't have done. Could they? I don't actually know. 
I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure on this as to um, what happened. Um, I believe we'll have to go back. Um, I do believe that they were shot in the crossfire. There was not quite the care that was needed. Uh, I didn't even know. I saw the names pop up for the explosion, but I didn't actually see them. The name pop up again. I guess I was too busy frantically trying to drive away. Uh, <laughs> well, there we go. Um, we got away, and they managed to... They were unsuccessful in their rescue mission. Sadly, the person died. They were unsuccessful in their rescue mission. It's a bit manic, this. A bit manic. Quite the challenge, it is safe to say. Um, but, yeah. Really, really rather manic. Well, that is not quite going to be it for this video. No, because, well, as you can see, there's time to fill, so nobody knows quite what's happened with this Survive the Hunt. Do not worry, I have some footage from the uh, test round that we did of this uh, coming up next that uh, was also pretty rather spectacular. Now, for the first of our... I guess outtakes our testing runs with uh, with this rule set. This is I don't have any audio for this one. We were I'm minding our own business, so everything had started off as per normal. We hadn't really been going particularly along in this. Now this early attempt, we had the passenger in the front seat. So hadn't really given it much thought at this stage. Hadn't really given it much consideration. Um, I mean, the hope kind of that if a vehicle pulls up behind you, they might not notice. They might not be able to look through the. Uh, car might not be able to see particularly well. Uh, the fact that there's a second person in the car is always going to be a giveaway. There's nothing you can do about it. Sat at a set of lights is actually really not what we want. You want to be moving. Uh, the, <laughs> the longer you're sat here, the better the chance you have of somebody coming along, the better the chance you have of somebody noticing something's up. Uh, so we're minding our own business. Not much is happening. Uh, one of the hunter cars goes flying past pink. I think it's a Ricotta or something. Uh, drives past. Now, not not... No real problem with that, that's just doing its thing, it's driving around, having a look in, in amongst all of the traffic, and actually heads off uh, down the left hand side. So I think, well, you know, I'll try to avoid it as best I can, I'm only going at road speed, if you will, so we're going to head down here. Uh, we can take this uh, right hand turn, we come to, a, come to a halt and go to move forward, the problem is, is it's heading towards us, <laughs> and well, that's a little bit of a giveaway. It's heading towards us is a little bit more obvious, and the thing is, it doesn't matter whether it really fully notices or not. If it notices enough just to even slightly check, you're going to be done for. You can't mask a second person in a car. And as soon as it started bringing people in, before they could box me in, it was a quick reverse, grab a J-turn, and try and flee away from this. Now, things go wrong in this one for a very different reason. Notice the icon at the top left of the screen. So, in trying to turn my headlights off, I'm not thinking about the game mode, the, the, the free mode, free roam game mode, shall we say, that was going on the beast thing. I try to turn my heads of, headlights off for the chase, accidentally activate the button that sets me as a, within a chance, becoming the beast to do this whole thing. Now, at this point in time, I'm far too busy running away. I have a buffalo, we're in a car, it's quite a good car for the whole running away side of things, but uh, I'm focused primarily on the driving. I haven't even noticed really the mission thing coming up at the top of the screen. I'm not looking up there. I have no reason to. We're focused on the driving. We're looking around for cars. So the chase is on and it is going well as I survived the hunt car chase. Would uh, do get a little bit unlucky. <laughs> I just didn't see it till the last second speared across. Actually a really good manoeuvre from the SUV there. Uh, spun us around. We did get going relatively well. And the buffalo was quite quick and actually did a fairly good job here of making some making some ground, making some distance in all of this as we uh, dove into a car park. I was trying to do anything that could confuse the cars uh, following. I mean, you know, we're not going to be able to blend in. The car's right behind me. I can't do anything too clever. I have a better handling car. My plan had been to go and try and use some alleyways. I just misjudged what alleyway I was supposed to be going in. There's one that you can drive through. There's one that's a dead end. This one here, the dead end one. Now, I can't get turned around, so I got out of the car to go and shoot at the people, figuring a firefight might give me a better chance. The problem was... <laughs> As I stepped out of the car, the second we stepped out of the car, the beast thing started. So, uh, slight technical difficulties. Just an unfortunate timing of that, of that all. Uh, unfortunate timing for me to try to get the lights off. Unfortunate timing of the whole beast thing being activated. Slightly screwed that one up. I was in trouble being in that dead end. I had hoped maybe the firefight would do some good. Sadly, sadly not quite. Nope. That's the first time that issue has come up though. Okay, so we have got our passenger. We are going to be setting off. Uh, we have got, well, it's half past eight. Let's go and see what we can manage to do with it. I think the first thing, we've got to find some four-door cars. Uh, this, well, 
You can use a two-door vehicle. The four-door vehicle is uh, a relatively important aspect of this. The, I the idea for this one, we're gonna, we want to try and get the passenger. We're going to call them a passenger rather than kidnap victim. Sure, sounds nicer. The passenger has got to be in the uh, back seat of the vehicle. Uh, we can't change clothes, so we have to fart around with uh, with that one. Um, Unfortunately, nothing good four-door is really sporting at the moment. We don't want a Regina. This is going to be no good. Don't really want an Astro or a C. They're okay. Well, the Buffalo would be nice, but it is bright orange. Bright orange is not the colour that you want for sneaking. Generally gets you looked at. Um, we, <laughs> last ditch. Make me run away with a bright orange car. Could be funny, but not for initial sneaking. Have we got anything? Uh, there's Buffaloes. I kind of want to hide my car a little bit, uh, mostly because one of the hunters said they were going to steal it. Um, but we do... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it crashed into me. We've got to no, no, come back. <laughs> we don't want a damaged one. I wanted to stop the buffalo because I do want uh, a buffalo if we can uh, ideally get one. Uh, just It's quick. It's quick and it's got four doors. The FQ2 is going to be no good in a chase if things go wrong. Uh, it's getting to a point where I'm just going to have to go grab a car at uh, some point in all of this. Uh, sorry, there's a kitten uh, causing a little bit of mayhem. You know what kittens are like. Uh, right, four-door car. This is what we are looking for. An Oracle. Well, it's not crashed into us. It'll do in a pinch. It's Buffalo's slightly better, but an Oracle is good. I'm stuck on the wing. Get off the wing, you moron. Uh, right, get into the car. Come on. We need a passenger to come with us. Are you going to get out of... There we go. Okay, our passenger... <laughs> Passenger is out. Right, come on. Get in the, no, 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 no. Get in, the, get in the back seat. No, we don't want you in that one. Uh, how am I going to communicate to get in the back seat? Um, we definitely don't want... The front seat is a little bit too visible, uh, really, in all of this. Uh, we'll get a little bit moving. I'll get away from the gang territory, because I think what I'm going to do, if I get out, if I point the gun at the back seat, I can get them to do it. But... Uh, if I do it in the gang territory, they might start shooting because I have a gun out. There we go. Right, I think the message has gone across. Okay, into the back of the car you go. If they see it from... If they see it from the front, you're out notice. If they see it from the back... Unless you're sat parked behind, you're probably not going to notice. Like, just... From this third-person camera angle, you don't really notice too hard unless you're specifically looking. So my hope is that... If you're, you know, you're a hunter, you're racing around, you got you can't search every single car you possibly see. It's impossible. There's so many of them in the city. If they with with past, they're probably not gonna notice. Uh, that is from the size. I can't do anything about it. Uh, could tint the windows, but then the tint will give it away more than the person never would anyway. So what the hell is that buffalo done? Excuse me, you've missed your corner. <laughs> what is? <laughs> It is the usual GTA AI causing mayhem. <laughs> Hunter has had a big crash. Uh, oh no, are they, have they noticed the AI's farting about over here? Please, okay, they haven't. The gold car just shot past as well. There's so, there's a lot of shenanigans going on at this particular junction here. What is going on? Oh, no, we're going to have truck tug of war in the middle. That's not what we want. There's a damaged something or other. What is that buffalo doing? Uh, excuse me, trucks. It'd be very funny if a tram came along right about now. Sadly, that's already just passed. Uh, we're going to weave our way through all of this and I guess just going to park up here. Well, I mean, the theory of if they're not looking too closely and they whiz past, they might not notice, didn't hold up. You know, the the white buffalo came shooting past, didn't really see anything untoward with our car. They had a crash on their own, which is quite funny. They probably won't thank me for showing it. But uh, the AI are doing all very peculiar turns over there. Oh, I can't actually use the proper lane for the turn. Huh. Who knew? Anyway... <laughs> We'll just go back to minding our own business. Actually, kind of in the shadows is helpful, I guess. Try and try and stick to the shadows. Ooh, a Sultan. That would be tempting. I mean, Sultan is basically your best four-door car, with the exception of the Exemplar. Uh, the Exemplar's great, but of course can't blend in everywhere. The Sultan can. Do I risk... I want to get the Sultan, but not only is it always difficult changing car, now it's got an extra added level of difficulty, time. It just takes that a little bit longer, because you've got to get the passenger. Uh, swapped, get the passenger moved to that to that car as well. And I know there were hunters around. I mean, there were hunters around 45 seconds ago. They could be the other side. Well, not quite the other side. But they could be a long way away or they could be just around a corner. Uh, okay, well, Sultans are spawning at least. This is something that we do know. If I can find a nice secluded place, maybe we could go and grab a Sultan. Uh, that is much, it's much faster than the Oracle uh, for, you know, in terms of a chase. Otherwise, though, we've not really had a great... Oh, here comes the rain. Okay. Maybe I should have gone for the risky swap to the Sultan. That all-wheel drive could come in 
could come in pretty handy in all of this one. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to sit at sit at the lights. There's nobody around at the moment. Nobody around means it's relatively safe. I'm just looking at the camera like from that angle. Oh, for God's sake. No one's around, but AIs are making a mess of things. What are you doing, Schwarzer? And from the right angles, you really don't see that there's somebody else in the car. I see a blimp in the background, but yeah, from those from from the right angle, you just don't quite notice. They're kind of a little bit obscured by the pillars. That could actually be another thing to factor into all of this. You do that sort of car design. Some vehicles might actually be more difficult to see into uh, than others. Okay, now more interesting four doors are sporting. Now I got to the main bit of the city. The felons around as well. I take it back what I said about the spawn set. It's actually not terrible. You know, we've got some, we've got some options. <laughs> Here we go on a moped. <laughs> How long would it take for us to be killed? Oh, for God's sake, Zion. No, I'm just going to back up. Oh, yeah, okay, you piss around with the apostrophe over there. Annoy that. Make it look like the apostrophe is the play. Oh, it doesn't even, again, it doesn't matter, because if they see if they see a car alongside, they'll have a look around this area, which they might have seen over there with the baller. Oh, no. Come on. There's nothing. Uh-oh, it's turned this way. There's nothing here. Nothing to see. Please don't come this way. Please don't. Please just leave me alone. Just, no, no, go away. I think I'm being rumbled. I think I've been rumbled here. Because uh, it's looking... Oh, there's lots of them. Uh, well, yeah, you, there's no blending away, that one. We're going <laughs> to have to grab reverse. We'll spin it around. I don't know if they got out of the car quite. I thought they had for a, for a second. I thought I saw the guy get out of the Range Rover, but maybe not. They're in, they're, they're in the chase. I can see the blimp in the distance as well. Crap. Okay, well, it is absolutely pouring with rain. The ground is soaking wet. Uh, we've got a pretty good launch away from that. I wonder if someone crashed into the railing or something to slow themselves down. This is not the best car for a getaway. I'm going to try to be sneaky here. If I loop around, they might not see what way I've gone. No! You clever bugger. Well, that caught my plan. The Oracle. Uh, that was quite smart of them. Big slide from somebody over there. Uh, go, 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 go. Come on, Oracle. We can do this. We can get some traction. We can launch away. Oh, damn it. That's quite clever. If both the cars had gone the other side, actually, it wouldn't matter if the other cars approaching. Is that, I think that was one of them on the moment. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Whatever. I'm just going to run. We're just going to... Okay, we've got quite a good... Like a distance. Oh, I've got no no grip anymore. Uh, it's surprisingly slippery out here. We do not turn. We do not stop. We have said hello to a felon. Thankfully, so is everybody else. Just bump the felon on the way past. It's fine. Uh, we're going to go up the hills. Big oversteer moments. Uh, okay, this is quite a bit. Is GT already this skinny? I guess I'd already try. Uh, I say I'd already try with drive cars. I don't necessarily with this. I hope we haven't had proper downpours in to survive the hunt for a while. Either way, there's not very much grip in this uh, whatsoever. It's me against, well, at least we're against equal cars. There's an Oracle and there's a Boulder further back. You can see they've got that one that one headlight going on. Uh, I've got to try not make mistakes here because we've got some big oversteer through these corners. I normally wouldn't have any problems. Normally it's not even a consideration, but yeah, we're sliding around a lot more. going to try and take a little cheeky shortcut. Maybe use the AI car there to give some trouble for those giving chase. I think they overshot the jump a little bit. Oh, now if I can be clever, if we can dive into the hills and we can try and make some of these sort of tight turns, the turns that are secluded by walls and hidden, there might be a chance for us here to get away. I left that too late, I can't turn. Oh crap. Oh crap, that could have been good had we actually worked. The Oracle's going to hit the side of us. Oh no, come on. Wiggle free, car. Wiggle free. Oh, the felons come to say hello as well. It's bounced off the nose of us. Thankfully, oh, and no one's got any traction, so all these cars just sat spinning their wheels trying to get going, trying to get moving. That surprised the grey Oracle they didn't jump out and shoot. Although they've got to be really careful with the shooting, that's the thing. Be really careful with the shooting because, oh, hello. Uh, we're going to have to do some defensive driving a little bit down here. I don't want to get pit maneuvered into these walls. It'd be really easy to get stuck. Uh, we're going to go on the brakes. Now, they can hit me dead on the back. That's okay. That doesn't really do anything. That's why I went on the brakes a little bit more, perhaps. Oh, they had a spin on their own. Fantastic. Oh, God, the Oracle's back again. Uh, like one of them makes a mistake. Oh, there's a gap there for a car. Just. We'll squeeze that through. Oh, then all of our advantage gained is lost with a huge slide and a bump on a wall. Oh, they're back behind us again. They give us those little nudges on the back, but it's not actually doing enough. If they get to the sort of the corner and go for a spin, I could be in some trouble around here. We're going to try and use some more speed. Oh, no, maybe not so much speed over there. It's a bit bumpy for the Oracle. I'm not quite designed for that. Oh, there's four of them behind me now. I haven't really seen the blimp come into play. Oh, please turn. Just. Oh, oh almost all of them missed that corner because we were really late on the brakes. The gold car made it. The felon did actually get that turn uh, sorted. I mean, they've only got one car now directly behind it. This raid is playing absolute havoc with everybody at the moment, which is no one's got any grip. So if I make some sort of sudden last-minute late-breaking turns, we could actually cause them grief. That's a big bump. Thank God that thing was destructible. Just saw a jeep slide into a wall. That's, 
Oops, oh, there's the blimp. The blimp is about, but it's a little far back at the moment. So it's not in crazy easy to easy to follow me range. Something very orange is giving chase at the moment. I'm not actually sure what that is. Uh, we're just going to, again, just keep going. Do what we can. Oh, actually fallen back a bit over there. I wonder if we can find, if I can get around a corner. That's a lot of understeer. Oh, I've got a truck around the outside of that. There's a post there. Uh, they missed, the, they missed me making the turning. The blimps missed. Everybody missed the turning. <sighs> okay, well, that's good. That's good. I want to get out of here, because if they realise they've lost me, they're going to sort of go back to where they last saw me and may well spread out from that kind of point. So we have managed to sneak ourselves away here. That is very helpful. Now, I need a new car. Uh, what are you? You would... Well, I mean, you'll kind of do. You're not great. But no, 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 no I need a car. Stay. Stay. It's not the best option of vehicle, the Asterote, but I'll take it because, I mean, it's either that or... Oh, can't get in. Just got to give them some space, but remember. Yeah, it's slightly less efficient swapping of cars. Not too bad, though. Okay, we're in a car. I'm amazed we managed to get away that well. A little bit lucky. I get, Someone must have made a mistake somewhere because suddenly we had a big gap that I wasn't expecting to have. I presume... I could have lost control in the wet, to be honest. This is, the, the rain really caused some chaos in that. That was... Absolutely zero grip. It was a good fun chase. Just zero, zero grip in the car. Now, the Astro is front wheel drive, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, if we do get into chase, I don't really want to be in this for any length of time. I feel like it's just. We can go in this because if they're still searching around for the Oracle, they're not going to take a second glance at this. Again, visually, I think the way the headrests are in the back, you don't actually see the person very clearly. That's good news. Yeah, you really don't see there's a person. Unless you really. I mean, I know there is. Unless you're really, really studying there, you don't actually see. Uh, the person uh, going on in all of that. So, I guess we'll just kind of tread along the motorway and hope to maybe find something better. Oh, that's a terrible join. I failed my driving test massively there. Okay, can I... Oh, SUV is on the motorway. Is that go? I mean, it can't look at every single car on here because there's a lot. It's turned real quickly. Let's just go. I'm hoping it's just searching randomly. Could jump off the if I jump off the side though it's definitely going to be a giveaway that it was me that there's a player car it, okay it doesn't seem to be following us too close I will take the next exit off of the motorway to try and get out of here but I don't think I mean if it has caught on to us it's a long long way back and it's going to lose us as we head up here okay well no changing of cars on the motorway it would seem uh, we've got a Schwarzer ahead of us oh no there is the SUV Okay, it didn't notice. It wasn't searching every car. It may be it didn't expect me to be in an Astrope. It may be that... Just didn't see. Actually, yeah, the Astrope's not terrible in terms of... The Astrope's not terrible in terms of cover, but it's just a slow car if we do get seen. I mean, that, that baller is still messing around. Okay, do we go for a car swap? Do we maybe go for the Felon, or do we go for the Buffalo? I think we're going to give it a try with the Felon. It's, it's such a... Such... Such... Uh faster car. <gasps> get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Uh, um, how did you not notice? <laughs> oh, that's the closest I've ever been to getting caught changing car in that manner. Like, literally, we didn't have the passenger in the car as they were... Out. I guess maybe we were obscured by the traffic? Oh, we should not have survived. We should. They should have caught on. I mean, the person was running across the road. I guess maybe they just assumed there was freaked out AI going on there, which maybe the, the AI randomness, I guess, has helped me in that one. Because there was, yeah, we just didn't get, we didn't get checked, we didn't get looked at. Uh, again, this car a little easy to see from the back. The pillar does kind of obscure the passenger a smidge as well, which is helpful. But I can't, I can't believe we got away with that. We really should never have got away with that whatsoever. This part of the map is actually quite quiet as well. That's why I kind of changed the car up there, because I don't normally head out this area. I don't really head out this way all too much. Uh, is that a bit of a road? No, I don't think so. I should be more careful with where I am positioned. Oh god, everyone's around over here now. I take it back about this part of the map being quiet. It's not! Although no one's actually noticed, so that's good for me. The felon is doing well. I'm pleased with the felon in all of this. Um... Okay, well, I want to take a left. I want to try and get away. I don't want to travel the same direction. Those lot are going in. If I could avoid it, we're going to try and turn away. We'll probably take a left here as well and go back the way we were. Because it's relatively safe down there. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of traffic. But 
that is all okay. Whew. Yeah, okay, you don't actually see very easily in this. What is that? Okay, now that's an AI car struggling to figure out a junction. Yeah, you don't see particularly well. Uh-oh, hunters are here. Um, what are they? Oh, they're changing. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't change car here. Oh, no, this is really bad. Because if you're... They just changed a car. And they are directly in front of me. Oh, crap. You're going to have seen that. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't have picked a worse place or a time. I mean, they had a battered car, they just wanted a new one. It so happened to be at a junction that I was queuing for. Oh, god damn it. That's really desperately unlucky. Well, Felon, we're going to try and put you to good use now. Oh, they have fallen over one another a little bit. They had a terrible attempt at uh, starting this chase. I think they're still behind us. It'd be brilliant if we just dove down here and immediately got away. I saw something fall. Can I be, can I be sneaky? We're going for sneaky bugger tactics here. Oh, no, car doesn't fit. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, it was a good idea. Oh, this, the, if that third car hadn't been there, they might not have seen me. Damn it. I, th I thought there was a little alleyway I could sneak down there. That was a bit risky, I'm not going to lie. If they had noticed, if the first cars had noticed me, then I would have been in trouble. But thankfully, they didn't. Hmm. Okay, well, we're back in the drain. <laughs> Once again, that's fine. Uh, we've got three cars giving chase as far as I can see. The three cars that happen to be around that area. The FQ2 is no match. For the felon, in terms of straight line speed, we shall use all of the power. Maybe we can't really, can't really break the line of sight while you're down here, so we're gonna have to jump out of this at some point. I think I'd rather go back towards where there are some roads. Oh, crash barrier! Nearly, nearly balls that one up. All right, we've got a we've got a big lead going into the city area. I'm gonna hope they haven't had a chance to call people in or to give too good a directions in terms of the yeah, air. They're not close behind. You can't see if they're still behind or not. We pulled a good margin to them. Ah. <laughs> the cars are a long way back. The Blimpus is not. Okay, well, they're not going to be able to do any sneaky bugger maneuvers around here at the moment. We'll go down the other of the big drains. Uh, the Blimp... If the Blimp's above you, it's quite difficult to shake on these sort of areas. It can, it can track a car well at these kind of speeds, at these kind of directions. You've got to do lots of turns. Sometimes some U-turns can help. Uh, we're going to try and get out of here. Oh, come on, felon. You can do it. You can you can make it. You can climb up this hill. Yes, you can. Good executive sports saloon car, I guess. I think it's supposed to be a Jag of some description. Uh, right, we are like XF or something. I'm just thinking about cars. Run away from the blimp. Oh, that's a dead end. It's fine. No real harm done. Thankfully, no one was directly behind me. You see the shadow of the blimp. Now, I'm doing a U-turn. This is very risky because it does lead me towards the cars that were chasing me. Oh, it didn't quite work. The plan was U-turns really confuse the blimp. It's, it takes a lot to get that car turned, so I was hoping to confuse the blimp and that I could weave my way through the cars giving chase. I couldn't. Oh, Buffalo's there at the rear door. Uh, I have a cunning idea here, but I don't know if it's going to work. Play with the tram. Anyone going to get stuck by it? I don't know. I've got to concentrate. A couple might have done. Uh, now, I don't want to go down the tram line, but if I break late enough, I can just dive off this platform. There we go. Oh, big crash. <laughs> it worked. I can't look back for, uh, annoyingly to show the full uh, full extent of that. That worked way better than expected. Oh, go away. I don't need an oracle in the way. Now I've got, obviously, I've shaken the cars. I just need to get rid of the blimp. Uh, we're in the best place to lose the blimp as well. There's lots of cover here. They're not going to know where I've gone necessarily. Uh, we're going to try and dive into some car park. I know where I want to go park up here, actually. If we dive out of here, we're still under cover. Hope the blimp isn't looking at this particular bit because it's the tiny bit we're in out of cover. Drive into the next car park. And then if we hide in the corner, maybe we can... Oh, there's a car even here as well. Fantastic. That's what we like. All right, let's go and get into get into that. It's a four-door, even better. It'll take anything at this point, but a four-door will have to do in all of this. Okay, let's go and get into... Oh, let's get this, this vehicle ready. Uh, are they going to follow me? Is the, Yeah, they are. Okay, they might be aware of my tactics. Here comes the, the Land Rover. Now, I've got firepower advantage here. I've got a heavy machine gun. Come on, let's get in. Go, 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 go. Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. Uh, before all oh, no more have turned up, I'm better off shooting my way out of here, actually. If we try and... Or don't lock onto the... Don't let me kill the person. Uh, we're going to take... That's another one. And, oh, you've nicked my car! They said they were going to steal it, and they did! Well, I'll go back again. Oh, no, we're getting shot at quickly. Let's get to some sort of cover in all of this. Behind the sheet. Just keep firing. We have such a big firepower advantage in this, that in this sort of combat, where I'm penned in a corner, and they are... Uh, they're struggling to get to me. It's quite advantageous little area. They've kind of come, they haven't really organised very well. There's some shots pinging in from the distance. I'm going to get into cover a little bit better. I do not want to be having this fight. I want to get caught. I want to call Lester in the middle of a gunfight. Nope. I'm going to go back behind the car. They're, they're only they're limited with their weapons still, so their pistols and shotguns are not going to have the range to 
be able to do all very much over here. Oh, someone's coming in on foot. Uh, yeah, again, come in at one at a time. Yes, come in one at a time with your pistols against my machine guns. Oh, the police are shooting at them as well. <laughs> Thank you, officer. Much appreciated. That's made my life ten times easier. Right, quick, let's go. Let's get out of here. There was someone shooting from distance, but I don't know whether. Oh, there's more bullets pinging off the car. Uh, we will go for a handbrake turn out of there. Please tell me they haven't got the tyres. Uh, we will... Oh get ourselves out of this one. Oh, something exploded, fell over. I don't know. Run away. Run away as best as we can. I don't know. It, there's not many. It's going to be a huge number of them are going to be left. I don't think anything is currently chasing us. Uh, so we're going to jump into the... Oh, we've gone for a tumble. We've gone for a... Oh. We don't have a passenger. Did they kill them in the firefight? Yes, they did. Well, <laughs> it was Nick that was the passenger, the fact that they've died again. I think there might have been some, fry, some well, unfriendly fire in the, in that car park. There must have been. I, I was too busy fighting to notice that one ping up. Uh, they were in the back seat of the car. They are not anymore. I win! <laughs> That's a manic chase, that one. Some fantastic chases in there. It might be short of a really, really good chases going on. And we get some, some air time with the car. Yeah, there must be. I just shot it in the car park, I didn't realise. Whew. Well, technically we win. I mean, we survived, we didn't get killed, but uh, the passenger, yeah. Well, definitely works. Definitely some, some rather good entertainment. Well, that is going to be it for this video. That's the end of the footage that I have. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.